Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the World of AI. In today's video, we're going to be showing you guys how you can actually utilize Langchain as well as GPT-4 to actually create a chat bot in a certain way that can scan through your PDFs and files and provide you with answers as well as additional information that will basically utilize the PDF as well as the information within it to actually help you facilitate better prompts as well as better generative answers that will definitely summarize the PDF in a certain way. So with that thought, before we actually get into the actual video, I would really mean the world to me guys, if you guys can go subscribe, turn on the notification bell, like the video as it'll definitely help the algorithm out. And I have a lot of different content guys that will definitely be very beneficial for you guys. So definitely check it out as there's a lot of value in different aspects in the AI world. So with that thought, let's get right into the video. So before we actually get into the actual gist of how we can actually do it, I wanna basically explain the architecture as well as how this will basically function. Now, I'm not gonna be actually installing it locally on your desktop as that's kind of a little bit more complex. So this is a more of an easy approach that anyone can actually do. And it doesn't require heavy tech to actually run this or operate it on your local desktop. If you want me to do a video on actually installing it locally, I can definitely do so in future videos. But for today's video, we're just gonna be using Google Colab as our so source code that will basically easily install this application as well as using it on the web front to basically summarize your PDF files. Now, in terms of the PDF chat box architecture, how it works is that we can see over here that you start off with a PDF doc that you want to summarize. And basically, this PDF is going to be converted to a text uh, dot file. And this is going to be used for the application to actually utilize as well as split it up into different chunks. So, for example, if you have a PDF like this, for example, there's different paragraphs as well as different pages. Now, what the actual application will do is that it will split it up into separate chunks depending on how big the file actually is as well as how much text and words are actually in the actual PDF. And what it will do is that it will create an embedding. And what this will do is that it will store the embedding into different chunks and it will be used for relevant questionnaires as well as like re relevant sections as to when you actually use the chat box and what it will do is it will pull out each whatever information is in these chunks will be separated with different like functioning titles as well as different like ideas as to what it is and it will basically pull out relevant information whenever you need it when you search for it with your chatbot or your web source on google colab so basically it is stored and the relevant docs are put onto the side and basically, whenever you have a chatbot or something else that sources these codes or prompts, the language model then takes the standalone questions and it utilizes the relevant docs, which is embedded with the chunks. And it takes out certain things that are relevant to the actual prompt. And once it finds something that is relevant to the prompts from the chunks, it takes that answer and it gives you or it takes what the text is and it gives you an answer based off the prompt that you had. And that's what we can see over here in terms of its answer. This is quite unique guys and it's definitely very beneficial for a lot of people as this is a new tech that will be utilized for a lot of different use cases. So I highly recommend that you support these guys who have actually contributed to creating this as it's fairly easy to install as it's a great tech as well that will be very beneficial for you guys. Now, in terms of installing it for the people who wanna actually install it locally, I can give you a little rundown as to how you can actually do it. First things first, you're gonna need Git, which is an application that clones the repository of GitHub onto your desktop. So you will need that. Then you will need also Python, which is to actually help you install certain parameters as well as certain applications of code onto your desktop. And lastly, you will need a visual or not, sorry, not a visual, but you'll need a code editor. Personally, what I use as well as what I preach in my other videos is using Visual Studio Code, which is a really good code editor that is very appealing and it's very easy to use. And I feel like it's way better than actually using the command prompt as it's more robust and robust in a way as well as more applicable to certain ways so I highly recommend that you use that Visual Studio Code as your code editor. Now, it's fairly easy. You clone the actual repository onto your command prompt. 
And once you're able to do that, you install the packages. And once you're able to install the packages onto your desktop, you open it with your code editor. And once you're at that stage, you input the different keys. You will need an API key as well as a pinecone key, which is pinecone you can have a free trial with as well as an API key. There's a free trial for it. And you can get these keys by going on to the API key section on OpenAI. And for pinecone, you search up pinecone uh, website and you can get the API key from it. And what you'll need to do is paste it into the .n file and you need to also paste the API environment. So that's basically where you're located in that region and you paste it in the, the environment section and you can give the index a name. Now what this will do is that it will run this locally on a chat box. Like it's going to run it, uh, the chat box on your local Pinecone API. And this is going to be to utilize the questionnaires as well as the summary of what you're trying to do with the PDF file. Now this part is quite easy obviously, but then in terms of like converting the PDF files, you can run the app as well as basically you just have to run the actual PDF into a doc folder and you just need to run the script npm, which is the actual ingest and embedded to your documents. And this is what is going to pair your document with the application. And that is quite easy as that. And once you're able to do that, you just have to set the local pinecone API with your application and you just click run and then you'll be able to prompt it onto a local uh, like file or server in which you can actually run the chat box. And that's basically how you can actually run it locally. Obviously, this is just a rough breakdown as to how you can do it locally. I, if you want me to go more in detail as to step by step, I can definitely make another video in doing so. Now, let's get right into the gist of actually how you can run it on Google Colab, which is another source code in which you can run it without using your actual local desktop to do so. Now, I have two options as to how you can do this. So I'll leave both the options in the description below as both are useful in actually prompting and summarizing your PDF files. So with that thought, let's get right into it. So for the people who do not know, Langchain is the blockchain based language data marketplace that actually allows users to access and purchase language data for natural language processing applications. And it provides an efficient way to actually obtain high quality training data for NLP models. Now, GPT-4 is basically, for the people who do not know, it's the GPT Generative Pre-Trained Transformer language model developed by OpenAI. And it's basically utilizing, using Langchain and GPT-4 for this application for the chat box to summarize as well as help at, be that questionnaire for the PDF files. Now, to create chat GPT chatbot for your PDF file through this Google Colab, you will first need to obtain the training data that is specific to the domain of the PDF. So this is what the actual application will be doing. And for this case, we're going to be using this PDF to actually summarize as well as use this chat box in helping us do so. So first things first, when you ever, whenever you have a Google Colab, first thing you want to do is save a copy in your drive. So I'll leave the link down in the description and that's the first step basically. And what, what you want to do is connect to your actual server. And this is what is going to be utilizing your RAM and your usage to actually operate this. Now, firstly, you want to install all the packages. You're going to be installing the packages and tools from Langchain, OpenAI, as well as these other basic applications that will help you run this overall app. And once you're able to do that, you want to start off by running the next, which is opening the packages. And in this case, over here, you, you will need to obtain your OpenAI key as well as your Pinecone key. And what you do is you paste your OpenAI key over here and we'll move on to the next step. Once you have pasted your API key from OpenAI, you want to click on connecting your Google Drive. So what you will do is click on this button over here and you'll run anyways. And what this will do is you connect onto your Google Drive. Obviously, I'm not going to do this because I do not want to run this application, but basically uh, once you are done that, you get the root file as well as, as well as like the file, like location. And you can do that by going to your Google drive and copying the location of where you upload your PDF. So you need to upload your PDF onto the Google drive, copy the file folder destination, and you paste it over here. In this case, we pasted it over here as we're running it from the Google Colab. 
Now, once you're able to do that, you run the reader and the reader will start going through each pages. As we talked about at the front, it's going to start separating it into different chunks. And once that is done, you can now see all the text that is put it piled into different chunks. Once that is completed, you run each of the functions that will actually help you with the applications. So you want to click on each and every play button that is on the side here. And what it will do is it will start retrieving information from each chunks and it will be basically ready to use for downloading the embeddings from the actual application and PDFs, as well as the embeddings from the actual large language model to actually start running your chatbot on the actual Google Colab. Now, you need to also download each and every one of these. And once you're done, you'll get to the start at the end where you can actually start chatting with the PDF as well as the chat box to actually start summarizing as well as getting value out of your PDF. Now, in this case, in this example, we can see that who are you, we asked the question, who are the authors of the article? And what the chat bot is starting to do is that the authors of the article are, I cannot pronounce this name, so I'm not even going to try. So, and we can see that the authors are actually these guys. And that is quite remarkable, guys, because you can see right away that it's starting to work with the chat bot as well as it's starting to retrieve the information from the actual PDF. Obviously, this is Google Colab, so you're not going to get a good user interface. So if you want to run it on a local uh, local like server, you would obviously need to run it off of Pinecone to do so. So if you really want to do that, I can definitely make a better appealing interface to show you guys how you can actually run it on the local server. But in this case, we're just going to be using Google Colab as it's much easier and more applicable to anyone as you just need to do a click of three buttons to actually start running this as it's quite easy to do so for anyone and you don't need a coding background to do so. Now, another question we can see in another example is that what is the cost of training GPT all model? And we were able to get this answer of $100. And what it does, it scans, as we talked about, it scans through different informations and categorizes it into different chunks. Now, cost obviously is going to be put into a different chunk. So we're able to see that the answer is 100. And when we ask it, we get this answer. And there's different questions and answers we can see over here. But that is, it's quite easy to do so and run this application, guys. I hope you found this video beneficial. Uh, if you have any questions or if you want me to cover anything else, definitely let me know as I'll be definitely free to actually answer and provide you different tutorials on how you can actually run this. So, and that's basically it for today's video, guys. I would highly recommend that you check out these links in the description below. If you want me to cover anything else, I'll definitely do so as well, guys. Thank you so much for supporting the channel, guys. I've been getting a lot of liking and support, so it really means a lot to me. If you guys haven't seen any of the previous videos, I'll definitely do so. Share this video, like, and comment anything that you want to see, and I'll definitely see you guys next time. Have an amazing day, fellas.